Game Night. Date Night. Tonight on Game Night, Date Night, Nikki and me, Lincoln, are going to teach and show you how to play Lost Ruins of Arnak, a one to four player game designed by Min and Elwyn and published by Check Games Edition. Throw me the whip. I'll throw you the idol. <laughs> Welcome to Game Night, Date Night. Tonight, we are going to play Lost Ruins of Arnak. In this game, we are explorers and we come across this mysterious island um, that is uncharted, by the way. And we are going to start researching it and trying to figure out where a mysterious temple is in the course it's of right this here, game. I know, Bill. You okay. don't know that. Okay. You're doing your research I, I here on the main that. board and you are collecting. And there are actually some guardian tiles, so you will be fighting some monsters, too. Um, the game plays in five rounds, and it's marked on this top board right here. And it is highest points is the winner. So Lincoln, why don't you get into it? Sure. First thing I'm going to tell you is this is a advanced prototype of the game. We were sent this for the Spiel digital coverage in October 2020. And so it is not exactly the way the regular game looks. For example, these tokens, I believe, would you'd see more red on them because this these are stickers on here. These are all plastic tiles that look really good and they look yeah. very close to the real game and these I believe are laser cut pawns that they've colored red but otherwise it's really really close and looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So in the game we are trying to find the ruins of Arnak and we're going to do so in a variety of ways. Every round we're going to have five cards in our hand. There could be a way that you might have more cards. I don't know if there's actually any cards that change your starting hand. I doubt it. What you do get is things like this on the board that will give you an additional, let you draw an additional card. There are some, uh, the, for example, this assistant has a, a way to get, get another card, but you're always going to have five cards. And on your turn, you're going to do one thing. Okay. At its essence, it's sort of a deck builder you, and, and worker placement because you're going to go out here and place it to gain resources, do exploration, and advance on the research track. Your deck starts with two fear cards. If you notice, if it's still in your deck at the end of the game, you lose one point for having it. But it's beneficial because it lets you have one movement to go to the one of the dig sites. Okay. It is the only thing you can use it for is to go to the dig sites. It's a if, boot. <laughs> yes. If at some point you don't think you need them anymore, you can get rid of them by hopefully taking these types of actions here. These cards let you take the card out of the game, which just goes into the pile, but out of your hand. Okay. Then you have some funding cards in your hand. Those are instantaneous actions. You can, you can play that at any point in time and still do an action. It's, they're not even an action. They're just instantaneous. You can take it or you can use it as a card because in the corner here, we also have a type of travel. We have a vehicle, car, and we have a ship. Okay. So these locations on the board need these type of cards to get there. But you can also use these for um, currency. Okay, so that would get me gold or... Correct. Okay. Then we have exploration cards. They also have movement as well. So they have the ships and the cars, but they also count as a compass. Compass is a currency in this game. So let's look at some of the stuff on the board here. We have compasses, gold, tablets, arrowheads, and gems. All right. I don't believe that they're resource limited, but there are only nine gems in the game. They are okay. a little hard to get, and they're required in a lot of your research here on this track. So the first thing you might do in your game is move to one of the dig sites. So if you play the fear card, you can move to this site, and there is no cost to get there except okay. for the movement of movement. the boot. And then you place your, since there's only two players in the game, we have these things blocking oh, yeah. the uh, second person coming to the spot. This is a worker placement thing. I would place my pawn here, and I would collect immediately the two compasses. These um, are fixed sites. Okay. They're always going to be the same in the game because they are not a special card. And you'll notice there's two gold, two compasses, compai, two tablets, <laughs> an arrowhead, and if you discard, if you play a card without its action, mm -hmm. you can collect a gem or gems. So and that explorer stays there, right? For, for, for sure, until turn. the end of the round. Okay. Okay. Um, we each are going to have, one, we're going to do one thing, then the next person's going to do one thing until somebody passes. Okay. Right? 
uh, not even until so many passes. Once both players, all players have passed, then that round is done. We okay. perform the end of round stuff for the next turn, and then we pass the start player token oh, and go right. again. So these are all very, very valuable, but you end up not needing them as much as you go along because you, you want to use your explorers in some more of the advantageous locations. And those are dig sites also, Correct. right? That you start Once, to reveal. But what you explore first, okay, uh, or discover a new site, and okay. we'll explain that in a moment. When you, um, and it, we'll actually get to it right now. So we have in these uh, sites out here, idols. So at the beginning of the game, these are all face up, that when you take them, when you claim it, because just going there gets you that. You okay. take it and you immediately take what's in the tan band here. All right. On the advanced ones here, which is even further and more expensive to get to, there are two idle uh, tokens. We have one that's face down and that's all you get. You just take it and put it on your board and then the other you claim the good um, or action in uh, the tan band. Okay. And I'll explain some of what they do in a moment. To get to these, you then you must place your adventurer and pay the, the, the cost to get there, which is sure. either the vehicle, uh, the cars, or the boats, mm -hmm. and an additional three compasses to get there. And that's, that's an, for an unrevealed correct. location. Then what we do is, first thing is, you, as I said, you get the token and you put it on your board, and basically once you've, you take the gold coin, for example, for this one, okay. and then you flip it over, because then you're not, all it is is it's just gonna count as three points for you at the end of the game, no matter what, plus there's some things you can do here which I'll explain in a bit. Then you take the type of site tile, so in this zone, it's a single, looks like an, a, a one or a keyhole, right. and then these are two, so you'll be, the majority of them are gonna be these, You'll take one from the top of the stack, which I'm going to take one from below so we don't have to reshuffle <laughs> everything. You put it in that location. Okay. And I also I immediately get those resources. Okay. So it looks like I get a you fear get a card fear. and a tablet and some gems. So you take those immediately. So I would take that fear and I would take a, ge a gems and a tablet and I'd put it in my board here. Then we take out a guardian. Now this guardian takes four gold to overcome it. Sure. I guess we're just bribing him. <laughs> um, and you will not be able to deal with that right now because you only have one action. You've just gone to okay. that site and revealed the, the Guardian. Then it's the next player's turn. Then when it comes back to you, if you're able to pay for it, then you overcome the Guardian, and then you would take it into your possession, and you place it face up in front of you because you additionally have this... Guardian's boon in the corner. There's always oh. going to be one of these. Or and, something, right? Right, exactly. Uh, I will explain what the icons are in a moment. But this is valuable because you can, you, when it's in front of you, you can use it once at some point uh, during the game. All it's, right. an, it's another free action. It's got the lightning bolt. And once you've done it, you flip it over and it will be worth five points to you at the end of the game. It's going to be worth five points to you whether you use the Guardian's boon or not. All Are right, you going to ask that? That okay. was going to be my yeah, next yeah, question. Okay. <laughs> well, the Guardian doesn't prevent you from get, uh, digging at the site. You will get those resources. Mm -hmm. So if at the end of this turn I haven't made it, when in the reset I'll bring the pawn back to my board and then I will take an additional fear card and put it in my deck, which I did just, which I showed earlier. So I'm gonna, I would get two for that one, right? Yeah, if I don't take care of it. If you don't it. take it out. Right. Um, now again, fear's not that bad. It's minus one point, but you can get rid of them and that's, that's uh, not that difficult. It just depends. Then, on the next turn, if somebody comes in, Nikki could go here. Mm -hmm. It's I already think. discovered, so you don't have to pay the cost of the compasses to get here. You would get those resources, including the fear card. Then you have the opportunity to overcome the guardian. But I do have to pay the card, Exactly, correct? the vehicle cost to get there. All right. You just don't have to discover it. All right. And then, once this is gone, if somebody has claimed it, then that's just another location you can go to to do a dig and claim those resources. Ah. You only have two per round to do it with your pawns, and that's why it's important that you use them every round. Do your best to get them out. At a minimum, get them to here so you can get something down here. Sure. But as you can see, we get gems and tablets and a, a fear card, which isn't so great. And these here are going to be more advanced. They have different location cards for those. This one here provides two compasses and gems. All right. And it's cost six to discover. And then and it's then free it's to go there except movement. for the cost of the movement. Yeah, the two ship movement to get there. All right. And then these would be gone. 
Okay. Then the next thing you can do is buy an item. So up here, might as well start finishing, putting them out. Did we shuffle sure. these? No. Okay, let's shuffle them. Okay. Shuffle those over there. Should just do them with the, well, they don't shuffle. Since they're prototype, they don't shuffle perfectly well. I don't know, that was nice. I know, it's just, they're, they're not exactly, they're not like exactly the all the same. So, yeah, they're, they're very nice cards. They're just not the same length. So we'll put these out. They cost the same no matter where you buy them from on the track. There is no cheaper. But as cards are purchased and as rounds advance, we remove cards from the array and then everything slides towards the moon staff. The reason why that's important is at the end of this round, if these cards have not been bought, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever cards are in this position will be discarded, put into these piles, and new ones will be put in its place. And then you would move this moon staff over to the, at the end of the round. This would get discarded, and then you would put a new artifact out. So yeah. then you have two artifacts and four items to buy. And it will, it'll keep changing to where oh. there's, at the end round, there's only one art, uh, item that you might want to buy, which you, may, you generally don't care to buy, even though they do give you victory points. You're more likely going to want to buy the artifacts. Yep, it goes slides, right? Yeah, that's correct. So it's always going to be the, the oldest card, theoretically, at the uh, moon staff. Okay. So I was saying that you can buy an item. These items have several things going on on the card. Number one, it counts as movement. So this counts as two ships. And you need that to get here. You can spend that for this, but you just get rid. You don't. You don't use its full value. You're only mm -hmm. using it for one ship. But to get to these, you only have to use one card to do that. Additionally, it has an action. So if you pay one compass, you can overcome a guardian. Okay. Just by using this card. So you play the card. That's a good card. Exactly. And you overcome the guardian, and you discard one of your compass tokens. This card, when you do purchase it, it costs you four. There could be some things that change the value of the card, uh, change the cost of the card. You put it in your deck underneath when you purchase it. All right. So it's not going to be available to you this round, but it could be available to you in the next round. I'm going to put that back because I don't want to confuse it. I already know I have more fate cards in there. I, I want to keep that. I don't um, hope we don't reset. <laughs> but additionally, it's also worth one victory point at the end of the game. And you see they all have some value. I believe that there is a three, but only one, a three in the artifacts and a three okay. in the items. Now the next thing you can do is you can buy an artifact. Artifacts are a little bit different. They also have a vehicle. This is a, uh, an airplane, and I will explain that right now as a matter of fact because we haven't talked about it. The vehicles have a, uh, a hierarchy. The most basic is the boot, and that's on the fear card, and it can only count for that. Then the next level are these ships and these cars. And then you have the multiple ones up here that you have on some of the cards, like here. But any of them can be used on the way down. So you can use an airplane to do anything on this board, wow. all of these. But then you would need two of the items here to do, no matter what, even an airplane, you'd still need maybe a boat and an airplane to okay. do this, or two airplanes. And do some of the guardians require an airplane, and that's why you would... Uh, to, to overcome to them? Overcome. I believe so. I think I recall seeing one that needed an airplane and a gem. But it just depends, right? The thing is, is you can always pay two gold to hire an airplane. So you don't necessarily need, or it's actually hire a pilot. You don't actually need to have it to potentially do that if you don't have an artifact card yet. And that, of course, needs to be in your hand to be able to do it, to use it. But when you take one of these cards, when you pay the, the cost, you immediately do what's on the card. Mm. So for example, this one is, I discard a card without using its action. I just take it out of my hand and put it into my discard pile. And then I can immediately refresh two of my uh, assistants, which I'll get All to right. in a bit. Uh, what does the other one do? I can't see that. Uh, this one is, uh, use the effect on the silver side of one assistant available on the supply board, so you don't even have to have that insist assistant oh, on your you just player use one board. Of these. You just use nice. one of those. Now, that happens immediately, but mm -hmm. when that comes back up in your hand, if you want to use that action again, you must pay a tablet. Okay. Every one of these has that. 
All right. So it just becomes a movement card once you've collected it, unless you pay an additional tablet to be able to reactivate that just for one more time. But I mean, like you see here, refreshing both of these two assistants would be pretty powerful. Yes. So it might be worth a, a tablet to do that. Then the next thing we have here is the research track. You pay the resources shown to move into this position, and in these positions, more than one player can be in them. All right. Only at the, di at the dig sites, only one player can be at them. So, you know, once somebody claims this in the, in the round, you have to wait till the next round to potentially uh, grab it again. But let's go back to the research track. When you, when you do this, I now have, it's branched. I have two options. I can go to either this location here with the cost of a gems, with the gems, or I can go to this, this location here with the cost of a tablet and an arrowhead. And then you see they go back and forth, but then you reach mm -hmm. here, you're only gonna be able to choose one, and then you move to this. The thing is, is once you get there, depending on the token you move, we have the magnifying glass, you will get a coin when you reach there. Okay. And wherever this token is at at the end of the game will claim these victory points. All right. To claim an additional assistant, you have to bring your book or your journal probably is what it is, yes. up to the next level. Okay. And it can never be higher than the magnifying glass. Oh, all The right. magnifying glass leads the way and then the journal can follow. But you, at this one, it's a free assistant. You just take it and put it on your board. You choose one of the top, uh, three from the top. Then when you advance to the next level, you will claim a compass with the magnifying glass and another assistant with the journal. Then this level, and you notice we don't have a token here because with a four-player game, this is, with a two-player game, you don't use these spots and you don't use these spots. Oh, all right. So the first person that gets to this level gets that tile and then that is immediately put in front of you and you take whatever that is. Okay. Advancing is all about the same. I'll get to this last bit here, but let's go over the, uh, the icons. This is you gain a tablet. Mm -hmm. This is, lets you upgrade one of your items. So if you have a tablet, you can upgrade it to the next level, which is the arrowhead. If you have an arrowhead, you can upgrade it to the next level by putting it back and taking it a gem. So you can, gems are the top value, but you can keep moving up with them one with that action. Oh, you only I didn't get one. know that. I thought it was just upgrade to anything. No, it's it's so they, like they need, take they, a tablet yep, and they need upgrade to move to along. There. Exactly. So, okay, you can't do it that way. Right. Let me put that back. Even though I'd like to keep those. Um, this here is you get to draw a card immediately. This one here is you get to get rid of a card either in a, the played area or from your hand. And that would be a way to get rid of the fear cards. Might as well put that back over there because I know I have too many in my deck. <laughs> this one gives you a gold. This one gives you a compass. Actually, all of those are the same. So there's okay. no more. Let's look over here if there's any more. Uh, this is Refresh and Assistant. And that is it. Those are, the, those are what they do. So when you're moving up on this track, you have to keep track of um, how this overlaps because I could yeah it's branch pay like I was crop, saying pay that to get to that one right but if I was all the way up here if I want you have three this, different options yeah well that's I all. have to pay a tablet and right. a, and a gem to go to that and location. sometimes it doesn't matter even though that's wonderful sometimes it's it's you might want something else in that that track but again if Nikki has con come through here and I'm here now my only option if I want to gain something on that one is to go that way, but if I can't sure. afford it, I mean, it's not cheap. Arrowheads seem to be a little bit harder to get in this game. There's only one here. Gems are too, but there seem to be more of them. For example, we have one here. Um, although, who knows, I haven't seen all the tiles. As you're going up this track though, you'll see here you, you gain three compasses when you bring your journal up here and a single compass. This one is you get to take an artifact for free Nice. If you get your journal up here, and this you get to draw a card when you bring your magnifying glass up here. This one lets you overcome a guardian without cost to you where you have an explorer. All right. So it's, I will tell you now, I don't know how easy it is to get this up here because the bigger points are from your magnifying glass. So you have these, you have these two paths. This next level, everybody gets to this, and it's just a gold, a compass, and gems. But the first person here gets the 23 spot, and the next person gets 21, and since there's only two in the game, that's where it would stop for us. But then it's 20 and then 19. And there's, I notice here there's not a token. We need to put one there for that as well. Okay. Here is one. Cool, let's see what we got. Hey, it's another tablet. I don't know. 
how hot for Tablet's one. not so bad Maybe. there. You get yeah. to buy that. So then, once you're up there, you can purchase these upgrades up here at the very top. They're not really upgrades, they're just victory points, but they have a different way that you pay for them. It's the same, but the, the, the cost is indicated differently than any place else on the board. To purchase these two-point temple tiles, one gold and two tablets, this one here is one gem, and this one here is a compass and an arrowhead. To claim one of the six-point ones, you have to pay everything beneath that ah, side. Okay. So this would be one gold, two tablets, and a gem, mm -hmm. and this one would be one gem, a compass, and an arrowhead. <laughs> And then to do the top one that's worth 11 points, you must pay one gold, two tablets, one gem, a compass, and an arrowhead. That's a so, lot of stuff. Exactly. You're only going to be able to do that if you've been aggressively making it to here because I feel these resources go quickly in your hand. And then you can also pass at the end of, you know, at any point. If you have cards still in your hand, you can either discard them or hold them for the next round and then you draw back up to five. But you can also do and should do any free actions that you have. All right. so, so if I had these lightning bolts in my hand, I could just take those and put the tokens into my ah. pile or spend them. Okay. And then when everybody is passed, because you know once somebody's done, the other players or player continues until they're out of actions, mm. and then they pass, and then you reset your board. So you take back all of your explorers. If you have an explorer in a location with a guardian, you must take a fear card. Then you take all your cards and you shuffle them up and then you stick them at the bottom of your deck. So if anything that new that you had added will be potentially more accessible, it depends on how many cards are in your deck. Um, and then you advance the card row, which is we will slide the moon staff over one, removing these two and then adding additional card, uh, Cards if needed. This one, like these will just keep going away most likely mm -hmm. unless... That's oh, expensive. Right. <laughs> so once something's bought though, they'd slide down and they'd be again and then it would just move over. So you might not mm -hmm. have a lot of time. Again, the new ones will be over here so you'll have more of an opportunity to get them. But you need to pay attention because some of these are super valuable. Hopefully you can get them. I mean, you might want that dog. He's pretty cute. If I have any great ha cards in my hand... You can um, hold on to them. I right. can hold on to yes. it, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, if you think that you know what's in your deck and you're planning ahead and might want to have a super powerful turn the next round, you can just put those cards in your, uh, keep them in your hand, put the discarded ones in here, and then draw back up to five. Okay. Then we start the new round by passing the start player token, which is that alarm over there, clock. Whoop. So, then we have one thing that you can do on your, on your turn. And this isn't, this isn't any time free action. It doesn't have to be on your turn, right? It can be okay. done, it doesn't take the place of your action. When you have these idols, they're worth three points to you at the end of the game. Additionally, these spaces, this one, two, three, and four, mm -hmm. those are points you get at the end of the game if you haven't placed an idol there. Okay. But if you place an idol there, Oops. automatically you're going to lose one victory point for that first one, but you get to take any one of these items over here, one of the, uh, these bands of items. So okay. you can pay a gold to get a ge gems, you can take an arrowhead, you can take two tablets, or a coin and a compass, or a free card, an nice. additional card. So at the end of the game, that might be something you want to do. At any point you might need to. Mm -hmm. Like there might be an opportunity to take care, to overcome a, a guardian, and you kind of want to get that stuff right now so that this is free again, so that you might be able to go back there and claim those resources once again. Uh, but as you're doing it, it increasingly costs you victory points. Sure. So, so. At this last one, you will lose four points and you'll still only have the three that you already have, mm -hmm. right? So, so there is some risk to that, but it's probably valuable when you're racing to get up to these higher values up here for, the, um, Seems for so. your magnifying glass. We also have your assistance. When you gain an assistant, you put it in this area over here and it's available to you at any point. It's a free action. So this is another free action that you want to take advantage of before the end of the round. In this case, it would cost me one gold to get an arrowhead, which is mm -hmm. actually a pretty great trade. Yeah. Additionally, you can upgrade. So we have here, when you get to this level, this would let you choose one of your assistants to flip over and upgrade. Mm. So it becomes more valuable to you. This one now becomes I pay one gold to either get an arrowhead or a gem. Okay. Which is pretty great. And then this one will let you do that again. 
Okay. There are some pretty fantastic cards in the Artifacts deck. And you, you know, we won't see them all, but they're things like gaining, this lets you gain an item mm. and just place it on top of your deck. So immediately when you purchase it, you get that, and then if you pay a tablet, you can do it again. This here is research with the discount of a gem, which is pretty powerful, right? So you can mm. bypass one, then you need to pay a tablet again to get that advantage again, but that might be valuable to you. This one is you just get to overcome a guardian. Immediately, again, you okay. must have somebody in that place, but later on you can pay a tablet and do it again. So it's one tablet instead of what all these other costs are. So there's some great stuff in there. Okay. Also, let's reset that before we get going. Sure. So bring that one back. We'll put another. So, Nikki, let's sh shuffle up our cards. Okay. And take five, and you go ahead and start. Pretty terrible. And I'm starting player, so I get two gold, and Lincoln gets a gold and a compass. Right, and then I think the next one is two gold and a compass, and then two compass and a gold maybe in, uh, for three and four. Okay. I think. I've never played that. <laughs> Don't have other people to play the game with right Not now. Not yet. Hopefully. All right. I am going to use a fear as a boot. A boot to go dig? And get right into... What do I want? I want compasses. Compasses? Okay. One, two, compass. And that is my one action. Cool. I will go do something similar. I'm going to go and get two tablets. And there is no limit to how many you have. Again, there's only so many on the board. I don't know that its resources are limited, but it's unlikely that we'll run out of them. I'm going to pay two compass cards yep. and a compass to go exploring. Plus the vehicle. Plus a vehicle right here. Okay, okay. All right, so that goes. So immediately we pull out one of these first stage ones. That will give you right, you first take that, gives you another compass. Cool. And then you take a gold and a okay. arrowhead. Another gold and an arrowhead. Done. Then okay. a guardian comes out. Correct. This one is, you need to discard a card. Hey, you can do this right now. But I can't, because it's uh Oh yeah, this next is turn, my it's my action. turn now. So yeah, now it's my turn. I don't get to do anything of that nature. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna go with my fear card again, which I got both of them. Go over here and claim an arrowhead. Dig and claim an arrowhead. Okay. Or find an arrowhead. You know what? We didn't reset these. Oh, yeah. You're not that far. No, right. I'm not. There we go. Okay. So now for my action, I can actually afford to do this, which Correct. is surprising. I didn't think I would be able to. So I discard a card. I get rid of a compass, and I pay an arrowhead. Then I get to draw a card. Correct, and I would do that, yeah. I mean, remember, you could save it for later. It can sit uh, there, and at any time, you can do that. It's so, uh, maybe you want to wait till you have more cards in your hand to make something of, wait. of value. Because right now, you probably have only fear, a fear card over there. So. I think so. It's easy to keep track, because right. it's your starting hand. Right. <laughs> okay, and since I have only these free actions, I'm just gonna I'm just going to do these, and get the two gold and a compass and now it's Nikki's turn okay I have no more cards right you can spend to do something though you could start going up the track I think I'm gonna say pass okay well I'm gonna advance a little bit here on the track I will move my magnifying glass up to this level which cost me an arrowhead and a compass but I immediately get a gold nice and it is your turn. Well, I had passed. Okay, and now it's mine. Um, I actually have enough gold, Nikki P, to buy a card, and okay. maybe I should. So let's go over what we have. We didn't actually do that. All What's right. this card here? Was this one that we actually ha We did see that one. We that did. was the two to, to, to reset your... Uh, uh, assistant. Your assistant, yeah. This here's the army knife. It has a car and a boat. 
So you can use it for either one of those. Mm -hmm. I, I don't imagine there's any time when you need both of them to go someplace. But when you activate it, you get to choose two different options there. So I can take, right. I can get rid of a card. And? And <laughs> take a gold or, I mean, you get to two, two of those things, two a compass or a tablet. Yeah. That's pretty fantastic. That's that might be something I should one. get, especially at the beginning of the game. Well, it's an army knife. I mean, right. of course. This one here is the revolver. It lets you pay one compass to overcome a guardian. It's worth two. It has a movement value of two boats. This one is the dog, and they can count as a car. But they also, and they give you a compass when you get it, but then you can activate an unoccupied base site. That's ah. these symbols down here, are the base sites. Which is pretty great, because later on in the game, you might not have as many spaces filled down there, especially in a two-player game. Sure. Um, and then this one here is the tent. It counts as a vehicle, a car. You can activate a site you occupy. If it's a uh, the second level sites, or the third level essentially, I guess, you must first pay two compasses. So that's pretty spectacular too, because you can do any of these. It's, it's the same as like this one, but it's any of these. Wow, that's pretty great too, holy cow. And then binoculars let you activate any one of these uh, lower level sites. Wow, those are all amazing. They're all really good. You know what, I think I'm gonna go for the tent. It gives me the most, oh, but it's a site that you occupy. Well, it doubles up. I think I'm gonna go for that one. That seems pretty the fantastic. Tent? Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to go for the Swiss Army knife. For the Army knife, yeah, it's pretty great too. Well, you know that one's going to be there, but you'll have you could you could get it. This one's going to knock. I passed. No, no, I mean on the next round, because that one, this one is going to go if I take it. The, well, unfortunately, this, if I don't take these it, these two are going to go right now. Correct, but I'm saying the revolver is going to go as well. This one's activate any sight. Wow, that's pretty powerful too. I think I'm going to go for that one. Binoculars? Even, I think the tent is great, tent. but this one is, it's just any one of these sites that is, that is explored. So, is and I don't have to have a... Is just a level one site, though? I mean, these, uh, these yes. this level. But I don't have to have a pawn there. I don't have to have an explorer there. So I think that's the one I'm going to take. That's okay. going to go on the bottom of my deck. And then I'm going to pass. It immediately refills. Correct. Now, it's the end of the round. First thing we're going to do is take back our explorers. Mm -hmm. If you have any guardians, you would get a fear card, which we don't. Nikki took care of that monster, or that guardian. I'm going to keep calling monsters, and they're guardians. Yes. Then we're going to shuffle all of our cards, put them at the bottom of the deck, put them at the bottom. Then we refresh our assistance that we might have, which we don't. Then we exile two cards next to the staff, moon staff, so those go away. Army knife, sad, you're pretty exiled, great, which is one back. Exiled. Yep. Round two. Then we put out two artifacts. That one lets you draw a card and banish, uh, or probably exile a card, is what they probably, that probably is called. And then the other one is you can upgrade one of your items Mm -hmm. and gain two coins. That's as immediately when you pay for it. And then, again, you can reactivate that later on by pay to do it again by paying a tablet. All right. Okay. Then you pass the start player marker to me. Okay. And then we draw up to five cards. Passing. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is activate that site, the one that's available, without even putting a guy this over one? there, I get an okay. arrowhead and a gold coin, and it is Nikki's turn. So I will activate this site. I need to pay a car. So there's my car. Mm -hmm. I get a gold and an arrowhead. Nice. Well, I cannot bypass. I need to go get some compasses myself so I can maybe discover a new site, and it is your turn. I am going to move my magnifying glass up on the track. Okay, and using the arrowhead, yeah. same one I'm in. I do not have a gem to go the other yeah. way. And I take a gold. Cool. Okay, well, I think I'm going to explore if I can afford to do it here. I have two, I'll use my card, and then two. And then I need to get a vehicle to get up there. So I will put my explorer. Uh, 
Hmm. Do I want to get rid of a card? Or do I want to get another compass? Uh, I spent a car, so I can, well, I can I can choose. I actually have both, so I have a, both a ship and that, so I have some flexibility. I'm going to banish a car. I'm going to exile a card, so I'm coming here. Mm. I'll take that token. Oh, that's good. I get to flip that over. Immediately I will dump one of my fear cards. Yeah. That will go right here. And we put out a sight which gives me a tablet and an arrowhead. <laughs> nice. And then we put out a monster. Guardian. We got ah. a guardian. Okay, two compasses, compai, <laughs> and a, I'm gonna probably get another, um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get, I can't even deal with it anyway this turn. So that is the end of my turn. It's your yeah. turn, Nikki P. Maybe you can, maybe some of your cards will let you get those things Yeah. to fight it. I am going to pay a fear. Of the unknown? Yeah. You're going to go right here and get two tablets, and I am done. Two tablets to pair with dice. Okay. Oh, boy. So I now need an additional compass to deal with that. So what I'm going to do is move my magnifying glass mm -hmm. up the next level, and I'm red. You are red. And I can upgrade one of my items. Yipes. Uh, what do I want? You can get a ruby. Well, first thing I get is an hour uh, a mm -hmm. compass, which I need. I don't think you want to do a ruby, though, especially if you want to go up. Again. Well, ex exactly. I'm thinking I might need to have another arrowhead. Those are a little more difficult to get. So I will do that. Mm -hmm. Boy, gems would be nice, though, I'll tell you that. Yep. And that is my turn. It is now yours. All right, I'm going to buy. Oh, and this goes away. Sorry. Bye, bye, bye. I am going to buy that. Oh, do I want the gun or do I want the dog? That dog is pretty great. Yes. It's a base one, though. This is pretty yeah. fantastic, too. What does that one do again? This one is you get to activate a site you're on. So you like could reactivate that again, correct. Not this turn, because it's going to go it, under yeah. my thing. Yeah, that's four. And then if it's further ahead, you pay three, a two compass to, to activate it. Four. It's, it's believe sold. me, I, I want that one Tent, pretty badly, too. Tent is bought, and it goes underneath. So then this slides down. We put a new one out. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to buy that card that converts a compass to a um, jet to gems. All right. Put that at the bottom here. That is really, really fantastic. And that is going to come up next round, so I'm going to have to figure out how to have compasses. Okay. And it is your turn, Nikki P. Can I? Oh, wait. This one is Hot Air Balloon. XL this card to put an explorer with a discount of one pilot if discovering a new site. You also have a discount of three compasses. That's pretty great, too. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Exile means I think it's out of the game, too. So it's a one-off. Yeah, it's a one-off. One. But that's pretty powerful. It reduces the cost of these up to by three and reduces one of the movement things. So you'd only need a boat or a car. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'll pay the gold on this card. Sure. And one of my gold. Again, it's one off, but it's worth it. Yeah, I think so. It's cheap. It was two right, gold. Right. Pickaxe. You can convert a compass into a tablet and a arrowhead. And I think I'm going to buy that. Boom. Boom. So I will take that card, put that in my stack, and put another one out. This is the Theo Theodolite. You get a gold when you play it, and you gain one compass for each of your explorers already placed on the board. Okay. That's pretty powerful, too. This is going to go away. Sad. All right. I am just going to uh, throw that out to gain the compass. Yeah, that's pretty great. And then I'm going to buy this card, because this gives me three three compasses. I just I, I exile the card and get three compasses, which is pretty great. And then this one here is the Precision Compass. Buy an artifact with a discount of three compasses. Include the top card of the artifact deck. Okay. Oh, meaning it includes the top. You can just blind draw one off the top of the deck. I think everything is just compasses in that deck. All right. Um, but it doesn't say it's exile. So it means you can do that more than once. That's nice. Yeah. 
Well, it's expensive, so sure you is. want to keep it kind of. Right. I am going to um, do this right now and take a card. Okay. Are you sure? You, again, it might be good when you have nah, a lot more stuff in your deck. Maybe later. Yeah. Because the new wonderful stuff I just I bought. I mean, it's on particularly the as you're getting to the yeah. top of this stuff, it might be, you know, to be able to draw some more cards, yeah. it might be, because your deck will be leaner and things like that. So I'm passing. Okay. I'm going to overcome the Guardian right now because sure. I don't want to deal with, I don't want to gain another fear card. Especially That's since you just got rid yeah, of a fear. Two compass and an arrowhead. Nice. And this will now be a boat. So at some point I can use it as a boat. That's not very exciting, but that's still, that's fine. <laughs> it's a boat. It's a boat. <laughs> and I had passed. Some other scratch and boat. Okay. So it is your turn again if you yep. have something to and do. And I'm not able to do anything, so I will pass. So the first thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to return our explorers. No bad news here. We don't get any more fear cards. Okay. And we then shuffle all our cards and put them at the bottom of the deck. I am going to get rid of this one because it's a fear. Right. Yeah, I had completely wiped out my hand. I only have four, too, because it was one of them was a fear. I would have liked to have wiped out my hand, but it was a fear, and I had already placed both of my adventures, so right. there was nothing to do with it. Okay. Then we exile the two cards next to the Moonstap by Revolver. You're so fantastic. I, I can't believe we let you go. Then we slide the Moonstaff to round three. Yep. This goes all the way up. And three more artifacts. Two more artifacts. Two come more out. artifacts. One. Well, we're already in the third round. Game's Two, halfway, I know. almost halfway through. I know, it's After ridiculous. After your turn, since I'm going to pass that to you, uh, you uh, will be halfway through. Actually, it won't be your turn. That's Half craziness. Of our turns. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wow, I have too many cards. I do. Pick they the stick, best they ones. Stick, no, no, I know which <laughs> one it was. It was the last one I drew there. Uh, okay. What you going to do, lady? I. Are we there yet? No. Um, you can go to one of these. You're going to get an yeah, arrowhead and a tablet if you want to do it. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm sad because I'd like to get boat. that one. I need a boat. Boat. Arrowhead. Tablet. I'm going to move my journal up on the track. Nice. So I will now get my first assistant. Good deal. Hmm. These are all pretty good. This is pretty great, though. Arrowheads seem like they're going to be rough, so I'm going to take that one. And it is your turn. My book needs to move, Lincoln. Book in learning. In order to get some assistance. Well, you got it. You got an hourglass yeah. and a compass. Uh, it's a do do do. Compass and an arrowhead. Did I say an hourglass? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm sorry. So for Move my your book. book. Yep. Ta-da! And I get an assistant. Correct. What do you want? I you get know. this is you get a, a compass or a boat when you activate it. You get a card if you discard a card. So you could probably get rid of the fear or something like that. And mm. then this one is you get to buy an item or an artifact for one less. Mm. Those are all good. Do I want I kind of feel Stop this, one, for this that is a great one. one, but this is pretty great too. I mean, reducing cost is pretty helpful. Yeah. Hey, okay, that's on the wrong side. I see a gold one over there. Well, dang. I, I, will, I will take the middle one. Yeah, because I think. Get rid of some fear. No, it's not Hopefully. getting rid of fear. It only takes it out of your hand temporarily, oh, it but what it dump. lets you draw an additional card. You know what then? I want the captain. The I sea captain. captain. Okay. I want stuff. That one will let you get rid of a card. I want stuff. That one's pretty great too. And then if you do it, you get a compass. When you upgrade it, you get a compass, and you get to okay. uh, exile a card. Okie dokie, my turn. I have only a couple gold. Um, hmm, I really want to explore. But let me go, well, what do I need to go to the next level? I need a lot of tablets. I will spend a fear to go to this level. And get two compass. Um, free action would be to use him. And have a boat and or a compass. Get a compass. Yeah. Still can do things. And then acti activate a site I'm already on. Sure. Uh, already occupy. So that gets me a tablet and an arrowhead. That's pretty fantastic. 
I think what I'm gonna also do is do this, which lets me take two things, and I want a gold and a compass. Not take two things, but take one from one of these bands. Mm -hmm. And then I can actually explore. So I want to go, I'm gonna use this card to get here, mm -hmm. spend the three compass <laughs> to get I there. I was eyeing that spot. It's, it's good because it gets rid of a card. Yes. I don't want to get rid of another fear. Even though those are valuable, I mean, it's pretty fantastic. And I'm going to come up here with my explorer. I get to banish a card or exile a card. I will get rid of another fear. Nice. Eh, they're not that bad. I almost feel like I want one again. Uh, I may end up well, getting one right now because I probably won't be able to take care of this. Um, it's the gumming guardian. up your deck that's the Correct. problem. The minus one isn't so bad. <laughs> and I get two, two compass or I get a free item that doesn't cost me. Wow. wow. You're going to get the dog or is it already too late in the game for that one to be no, any good? No, it's pretty great. I mean, come on, that's... Activate, I get to activate any one of those down below. Uh, gain one compass for each of your... Wow, that's pretty great, too, the Theodolite. Um, they're all expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is this is the one I want. Yeah. It's for free for... Yeah. What does that do again? This one is, is I get to buy an artifact with a discount of three compasses. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, I nice. want that one. Yeah, definitely. All right, new... Yep. New item. Is it fabulous? It's an axe, lets you discard a card and ha, get a compass. Nice. Your will be mine. And it is, uh, oh, and then we put out the monster guardian. Monster guardian. Okay, the monster guardian. Now I have no longer any boots. I guess that's anything. And I don't have any of those goods. So I'm going to be taking a fear this round for sure. And now it is your turn. Well, oh. at this point for sure. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Okay, I am going to move up on that track. So I'm going to move my book which is an arrowhead and a tablet and then is that what i want to do yes no i can't move my book it has to be my correct um, yeah 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 that's what i magnifying do magnifying yeah, so glass ma yep, magnifying glass okay right i was thinking why didn't i do that i'm like no, oh that's right. right i can't do that i'm like i'm not so getting a, what i want compass. anyways i wanted another compass yes, anyways okay. and it's uh, my turn right yes okie dokie artichoke you know what i'm gonna exile this card Kind of wanted to save it for later, but yeah. it gives me three compass. Come by. Compasses. Okay, and it's your turn. All right. Mm. I, basically, what I'm setting myself up for is to hopefully do that. Yeah. No, I, I don't think I'm there I don't have yet. an arrowhead, so I can't. Well, this is one of the free ones. So if I put this here and I take an arrowhead, correct? Mm-hmm. Ta-da. Now I can move my book up there. Yep, yep. And that's an action, action. Action, action. I need something to get rid of cards. So, so that lady. That yeah, that's pretty fantastic. Although I don't need it right now. I will be getting one unless I can do something <laughs> to get rid of it, though. So I need a boot. Oh, I can do that. It's perfectly fine. So I'll spend one compass to get a tablet and a arrowhead and it's your turn now wonderful wonderful uh can i move anywhere no i actually don't have very good guardians boons here because i have mm -hmm. th this one's getting getting rid of a card it's pretty great but this one is just a boat yeah but i mean i'll probably use it at some point uh i am just gonna get rid of a card for a gold Okay. Compasses kill me, because I'm like, oh, I should buy an artifact, but I need them for here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, we're going to lose that one. Trader's Coins, that's pretty nice. Well, I don't have three compass. See, these are rough. Like, It's just victory points sometimes, too, because mm -hmm. this just lets you draw a card. I mean, I, I would immediately get to draw a card right now if I were to buy that one. Mm -hmm. So you said that's a free action, so I could yeah. get rid of another card yeah. for another yeah. thing. Might so there's well. another. You're still there. You still your compass. turn. Compass. So I will go to this one for the upgrading. I will pay the three coins. Mm -hmm. Oop, the three, three compass. Compass. Yeah. Compasses. And I take this. Yep. 
and I upgrade you a you tablet upgrade to, to an arrowhead and then flip that over. And then I get a new location. Mm -hmm. Let's put it out. Ooh. Oof, right off the fat bat, a gem. That's nice. And then we put out a guardian. Which I'm sure I can't deal with. Oh, bump? I didn't pay. Yeah, yeah, you got to pay. Move. To so there's my payment to move. I can't do anything about it. Okay. Well, you're I mean, that take... was, it's another action anyways. Right. Okay. And this is the end. Well, now it's my turn, and I'm going to take, take care of that um, guardian. So this is my movement, the nice. boot, and a tablet, and an arrowhead. Yeah, again, it's not so great, but it's five points, so I'll take that. Whatever. I now have that. You don't, do that. Get, you don't get a fear. I have no fear. I will no. be getting a fear. Yeah. That's it. So I... I pass. Okay, and then I pass as well. So the first thing we do is we take our explorers back. Thankfully, we didn't have any guardians left, so we're safe. No, we're not. I get a fear. Oh, you get a fear. I'm sorry, cutie. And I haven't gotten rid of any fear yet, so right. this is bad, but whatever. Okay, now I'll take it back. Right, and then we... Um, we uh, shuffle all our cards, stick them at the bottom of the deck. Wow, I only have three. Why do I only have three? Oh, I got rid of one and I used a fear. I probably got excelled a fear. Okay, my deck is small. Then we um, refresh our assistance. Oh, you know what? Assistance I'm going to do that. I didn't do that, but I'm going to spend that one gold to yeah, get the arrowhead. Yeah, you I might really as well. Yeah. And then I refresh it. it. So now we do this. Yep, unfortunately the dog is gone. And he, he's so cute. He would be a good fella. Slides over, add two more artifacts. I like how it turns into artifacts in, instead Correct. of equipment. I mean, that's more important at the end of the game, right? They're going to be... Okay, this guy is going to be... Hunting arrows? Hunting, so you get a fear, fear and two, two arrowheads. arrowheads. When you draw it. Research with a discount of the gem. Wow, that's pretty great too. But it's once, but you know, could be good. But what does it say? What's the name of the card? That is Idol of Ara Anu. Okie dokie. Cool. Now we uh, draw five cards. Wow, I really have a small deck. One, two, three, I guess that's four. Good. It is good. Oh, <laughs> It's very good, Lincoln. Why? That you have a small deck. Oh, because you got a lot of uh, got a lot of fear in your hand. I did. <laughs> now, that was the beginning of the game for me. <laughs> okay, it's me. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate any site, and I'm going to get. I'm just going to take a gem for that, and it is your turn. Ah, nice. All right. How about I just an easy move? I use that. Totally get rid of a fear. Yep. Exiled. Done. You are exiled. I will use this boot. What's that, a boot? A boot to uh, get that for two tablets. Tablets. Yeah. I will go here. I'm going to move and come here. I get a gem. Hey, you're going to fight that guardian I I've, am. I unleashed. And it is now your turn. I, um, th I theoretically am going to do that. I think I have stuff to do. <laughs> I am going to move Ooh, my magnifying glass up on the research track. Oh, wait. I needed that to get there. Sorry. Oh, okay. Jump in the gun. Gun jump. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it here because I want sure. the card. So that's that'll get my movement. That's used. Mm -hmm. Now I have that. And so I'll put that back in my hand. And that's your turn. All right. I'm going to pay two tablets and an arrowhead to move my magnifying glass up here. Yep. Do, do, do. And get that another gets compass. me a compass. Okie dokie. I will spend the boat and an arrowhead to defeat that, and then I have another just movement. I have now a, boat, a car, and it is now your turn. All right, can I move up? I could move up. 
I will move up. I will spend a gem, gem and a tablet. And, yep. a tablet. and you get to dump a card. Get and rid of I that get fear. To dump a card. I get the fear out of my hand. And you get another compass. And another compass. Okie doke. I need to. Darn, 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 darn. You sound like Herman Munster. Darn, 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 darn. darn. Okay, so I'm going to use. Well, do I do that? Yes, I want to explore or discover a new site. So I'm going to spend that. That's the vehicle to get me up here. Mm -hmm. I need to have three compass, which I do have here, plus these two. Mm -hmm. We put out a new site. Okay. This gives me a card. Take have a tablet. Yep, nice. And I get another tablet. I get another card. Yes. And another coin a gold and another tablet. And a tablet. Thank you very much. And it is your turn. No, the monster. Oh yeah, the comes monster out. comes out. Uh, hey, maybe the I can guardian. do it. The guardian. Maybe I can. The guardian comes out. Hey, look at that. A boot. A boot and a gem. Gem. Hmm. We can't do it now because that's another action. Oh yeah, you're right. Good. I can think about it. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do want to take care of it. I mean, look, I already have three. You. Ugh, this game. Okay. <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use this now. Get a free card. And get a free card. That's good. You have two in your hand. That's helpful. And why not? Activate a site you are already on. So I will get two more tablets. That's nice. I will spend a boot, essentially there, plus a gem to deal with that. Wow, that is crazy how many of those I got that turn. I know. And it is now your turn. Okay. I am going to go to Paris, France. This location and get a gold and an arrowhead. Okay. So I'm going to use my precision compass. I mm -hmm. get to buy an artifact with the discount of three compasses. So oh, nice. Free. I will take that one. Yep. And I immediately get to research with the uh, discount of one gem. All right. Uh, so I think, I guess it just goes into my discard. We haven't really done these yet. This goes to here. Mm -hmm. I get another tablet. And I get another researcher. Ah, uh, because you moved up? Yeah. This discount's pretty great, too. I guess I'll just take this one. This lets me, wait. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It is now your turn. Okay. Wow, look at that. Boot becomes an arrowhead if you had any fear in your hand. Mm -hmm. Or any card, any movement card. That's pretty great, too. We're both full, though. I'm going to move up the research track, so sure. that's two with, with your, my book. Yep. So you get to here. flip over one of those cards. Here. Here. Um, this one gets me a compass and gets when rid you, of the When thing. you do that... It also refreshes it. Mm. So if you choose that one to do, it will. You can use it again this turn. Oh, okay. Except this is pretty great. Once it goes over, what does it do when it's flipped over? I can get a coin and a compass, or I can get two boat. Nice. Which two boat, two boat? I think I will upgrade my captain. Before you do that, though, just activate it and take a compass. Sure. I will. Then flip it over. Then I'll take the upgrade. Yep, and it will re it'll refresh. Oh, all right. Yeah. So it's refreshed even. Yeah, and you can do it again. It's, you, you haven't done anything, so. Oh, you did this. Okay, I did so. that. Okay. Well, it's still free. You can get another yeah. compass and a gold coin if you want. I'll do it. Use it. Okay. Cool. I still can do things here. I'm just trying to decide whether it's worth it. I can get my hourglass up, and I probably should. So I will spend two. I'll do this. Get an arrowhead. Spend two tablets. And move my hourglass up. Mm -hmm. And I get a free compass. And it is your turn. This is a tiger claw hairpin. Sure. 
So if I discard a card, I can activate, activate an unoccupied one of these Well, I think it's not sites. even a discard. I think it's exiling a card, is yeah, it not? Yeah, exile. Yeah, so you can exile your one of your fear cards. I'm going to do that because it's also two, two points, points for yep. the end of the game. Yep. And I haven't been buying enough cards. Eh, so You don't have to. Remember, saving stuff for this is yeah. important too. Four compasses. Yep. That is a monkey medallion. Gain an art, uh, art item? Gain an item and place it on top of your deck. Nice, okay. And that's two points. Two points, yep. Okay, it's my turn. And I will, hmm, I can occupy the same space as you and it would be cheap. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Hmm. So first I will do this. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that, Nikki P. Okay. That arrowhead. I'm going to do this to convert that coin into an arrowhead that I spent. Then, that way I can I still have that option. Sure. Today. I need to flip those over. Well, on the points, too. You want to try to keep these yes. points good. Then I'm going to upgrade to the next spot where you're at. Unfortunately, I would love to get one of those artifacts. I mean, oh. those items. Yeah, I think I followed behind you on one of those, too. I would have liked to have been able to go so the I'll other go way. Here. I get another compass. Okay, Nikki P, it's your turn again. Okay. Did you have any of those monster things you wanted, um, guardians you wanted to do? To, to use? Yeah. Not yet. I don't All have, right. I haven't got a fear, another fear card yet. Okay. Uh, I am going to pay two coins to buy the axe. Okay. Can I ask you a question? X. I'm not going to do the, the true Jim Carrey one. Uh, Carrie Pigeon, it's a uh, quick Ooh. action to get um, two tablets. It's a fast action. Okay. Um, it's my turn again. I think I'm done. Uh, let me think about it. Next level is, yeah, I'm not going to get that. So um, it is your turn again. I, I'm passing. Oh, pass, pass. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just take a coin I think, unless I can make something work for that research track for my book. Oh, unless you use some of these. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. You could spend, or oh, your book. Yeah, or I can move my our, our hourglass magnifying glass back up, up one. Yeah. And I can. Um, you have to convert. Use your card to convert the gold coin that you have in your hand if that's what you have. Yeah. Use that to convert to a gem. Yep. Put that over the spot. Boop. Get gem. the gem, yep. Play it that way. And then move, go, because move. you can do it. Yeah, move my magnifying up. You get another compass. And uh, then, you, oh, yeah, okay. And this goes away, right? Yep, you get a compass. Yeah, I took no, it no, from you there, get but... You also get a compass because you have, not only it was, you moved up there. Okay, so, so yeah, two. So you get two compasses, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, it is your turn again. I pass. Uh, you could buy this and get a free card right now. I don't know if it's valuable. It could be. I'll do it. One, two. Okay. And this goes, I draw it right now. But I go, okay, here, this is that one. Hmm. I should have done the sundial. I have the compass to do that, but it's okay. Do you want to just do it? Because um, if it's going to go, it's going to go away this turn. Right. Hmm. Do I need tabs? I do need it. I'm going to do that. Thank you for letting me do that. And I'll put that there. And that immediately gives me two uh, tablets. I have to spend a tablet to do that again, which is not so bad if that comes up. Okay. Because then I'd have three tablets. Uh, let's replenish. Sure. You actually have another card here that you could have chosen from since I'm doing that. But go ahead, do that, and then you can look at it. In other words, you know, the one you took, mm -hmm. it let you draw a card. That's okay. Yeah, this one's great. <laughs> the, the car, um, but I, I can't use it right now. Okay, you passing? Pass. Okay, 
So we take our explorers back. There are no guardians out. There are no guardians. Lincoln's just the guardian master. You are. And then we shuffle up our cards. R refresh any assistance. You have both ears that can be refreshed. Okay. Refresh, refresh. Then we exile the two cards. Sadly, this one goes, which is pretty rad. This moves over here, and we add two more artifacts. This one is the Passage Shell. And you take an explorer to one a of base the camp a base site, campsite yeah. for free. You may activate it twice instead of once. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, and this one is an That'd ornate. That'd be great earlier in the game. Yeah, it's one of those cards. Ornate hammer, this one. Yep. Uh, you exile the rightmost item. Yeah, the only one we have left. <laughs> and you gain an item from that exile deck, and you put it on the bottom of your draw okay. deck. Okay. Uh, pass this to you. Okay. And we draw five cards. One. Starts with you. All right. Hey, we got to take these off too. We forgot oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thankfully, Sorry. no monsters, yeah. no guardians. And it is your turn. Go for it. Okay. I am going to pay. Yeah, pay a boat to place my explorer here. And get two, two compass. compasses. That's cool. I'm going to... Uh, do this quick action here, a fast action. I'm going to draw another card. Okay, your turn. I'm stuck this turn, and this is the last turn. Yeah, last it's rough. round. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. We kind of did a lot more exploration in here. Yeah, I will uh, use the hot air balloon. I will use this card as one of the three compasses to sure. get up to so, this yep, area. Six, okay, there you go, that works. And then I will use my sea captain for the two boat. Well, remember, boats. you already have one there. Do you have another cheap? Well, you can do that, of course. Oh, but, what am I talking yeah. about? I, that's what you is still need wonderful. one more. It's it's one of the exploration uh, costs. I'm okay. Okay. And then there is one of the boats. Okay. That Where are you going? Gets me. Uh, well, I spent boats, so I got to go somewhere around right. here. I have nothing to upgrade. Is that sad or what? Uh, I will go there. Wow. I will okay. take that. Yeah, you can't banish a card. You need to do it right now, too. Yeah, and I don't want to banish yeah, yeah, this something. card. Yep. Now we put up a level two. Hey, the first one finally. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, Nick. You're gonna like that one. That's an mm. owl in the rock. It gives I, you two I do like tablets. It. And a ruby. All right, this could be helpful. The Nikki goes to Owl Rock. Remember Owl Rock? <laughs> okay, so now you need an airplane. Mm. Remember, you can always spend two gold for that, and an arrowhead to banish that. Uh, to. Uh, but that has to be my next turn. Overcome the even guardian. if if I had. Right. Yeah. Not now. Okay. Now it's my turn. Well, let me see here. Uh, I have one. Oh, I can activate any site. Let me do that. I will. Goodness, I guess I'll do that. I'll take, I'll activate this site and take a, a gems, okay. a gem, gem is, and it's your turn. All right, um, this is gonna be weird, <laughs> but I'm going to pay a tablet and a gem. Move my book up one here. Yep. Upgrade this lady. Yep. I don't want to use that thing. There we go. I think that I'm not going to do any more exploring. I'm going to try to just work here. So I will spend one exploration to gain a tablet and an arrowhead. And now it is your turn. Uh, I am going to put one of my idols. Yeah, just slip that over because you, you did, weren't able to exploit that. Use so it. Yep. To and take an arrowhead. Get an arrowhead. Yeah, that's what I figured. That is that. That's a free one. That's free action. So now okay. you can do your thing. So now I'm gonna fight this guy. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna use this fabulous card for the flight. Yep. And 
the arrowhead I just got. Yep. And now I got him and I can yep, discard a card, but I have yep. no cards. So here we go. Well, let's see what I can do here. I need to move my hourglass up. First thing I will do is, I think I'm gonna be doing the basic <laughs> stuff down here. I need hourglass, I need at least an hourglass, and I might do the gold in the hourglass. So let me first do that. I'm gonna do put one here, I get a gold in an hourglass. Hey, look, there's okay. a gold in an hourglass sitting over here in together when they shouldn't be. Then I will upgrade from here to here. Mm-hmm. My hourglass, that costs me a gold and a gem, gems. We're back to nine. And then I gain a compass. I'm gonna have lots of compasses again. I kinda didn't wanna do that. Then, have you it's your turn. I, I did my yeah, thing. Okay, now. I haven't passed yet. Uh, I have my two assistants, so I'm gonna just take what they offer. So that yep. it, for him, it is a gold and a compass. Those are those are for quick actions, so quick. fast actions. And then yep, you get another compass. Get another compass. I will not do the other half of her thing. And then I'm probably I can't get any further on that track because I need gems, and I just have right. No but you way could pay gems. a gold. Well, I not. What am I talking? I got one more. You could pay a gold there to get. It might not be enough of a gain. What okay. are you gonna? It's only three point gain. You yeah. don't want to do it. It's three point. You're gonna lose four points by doing that. Mm -hmm. Right now you have seven points. Mm -hmm. Afterwards you'll have three plus three, you'll have six. Okay. So it's not worth doing that. I am passing. So I will, I'm trying to get this guy as far as I can forward. I will spend, I will activate that to give one compass to get a gem. I don't know if I got to do that more than once, but it's pretty awesome. And then, your turn and you're done. I'm done. Then it's my turn again. Let me see. I'll just move, make, make the next move up. Boy, I have a crud of, you know what? I need to go this way. And it lets me draw a card. That might be good. Probably not. So I spend two tablets and an arrowhead. And I go here. I get to draw a card, which is cool, I guess. Hey, that's not so bad. Well, it is. It's not great. Um, hmm. This is the this is the pay to get, uh, and uh, you pass. So I will do yeah. that. I pay to get two. <laughs> I just take two back. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's a gain of one, right? It's worth it. I need it for this stuff. Um, boy, am I gonna make it? You don't, don't want to so. pay one tablet and pass to get another ruby. No, because okay. I'm trying to get here. I need to get another. I oh, have man. the opportunity to. Okay. I have a couple of things here, so. First thing I'm gonna do is, uh, wow, do I wanna move? Oh, I have lots of movement. I can get a free gem right now, so let's do that. First thing I need, though, is I believe I need, I'm gonna need an arrowhead, one more arrowhead. So I will go here, I get an arrowhead. Then. Did you pay a boot? Uh, I did not. You know what, that is absolutely the truth too. Oh, well, you know what, any of these work. Mm -hmm. So I will first do the car. Then I will pay the airplane. I don't think I'm, I'm unless I vanish, I'm not gonna go something fresh. I'll do the airplane to come here and gain another gem. Yeah. Gems. Then, <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. Then I'm gonna go <laughs> two tablets in an arrowhead. That's not a good way to go. I will do, oh, I'm already there. I do a gem and a tablet to go here. Mm -hmm. And I gain, did I get that free? I you did get, get that free card. Compass. And I get it compass. And then I need to go one more level and I don't have gold. So, but one more level's a big jump, right? It's 16 to 23, so I will do it. Are you gonna pay an idol? Yep, unfortunately my last idol. You had actually more idols than I did this game. Um, Didn't do me a lot of good. And I will take a gold and an compass. compass. And an compass. Then I'll go to the next level, which is a gold 
compass and a gem. Mm -hmm. And that moves me here. Yes. And I get a tablet, yes. which is nice. I'll take a tablet. Maybe I can do some stuff here. Uh, then, boy, I need more gold to you do that stuff. You can move your book up. Oh, yeah, maybe that. Well, they gave me four. Two more points for the book. And you could upgrade one of your uh, yeah, this. people, which... Ooh, which lets yeah, me draw another card. Which would could let be, you could draw be do another yeah, card. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Look at this cyclone of events here. Yep. Okay, so I move my book up one. It only gains me one point. I get to upgrade that, which refreshes more. that. And then I will... Draw a card. Yeah, I'm, I'll activate it and draw a card. It's probably nothing. But That's what, a gold. Why'd you flip it? I'm supposed to exhaust it. That's right. And then... Is that card great? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't even... Let me see. Yeah, I think... Was that it a was mistake one, there was move? One more, no, no, it's okay. There's one more good one down there. But it's a, it's a gold. Gold might be good. So, I won't gain... I gained one point. This would have been two points. That's what I was thinking of doing. Mm -hmm. um, How about buying a three compass? I, 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 I have a card to actually get a discount on that. So. Oh, wow. Uh, well, what gives me something good here, right? Well, d that's two points, that's two points, and that's two points. I think that's really the only thing you want to look at. Yeah, the downer is if this one, you, I don't think you get those goods. You, you could, just put it on your top of your deck. You could get three points out of this because you get two for buying this card, and then you get to go take a card from sure. the exile. So you're getting more points. Sure. Well, this is three for two right here as well. And it refreshes again. So I will do that. That's three. And I'll take this. Mm. Mm. And it lets me refresh one of these, which I'll do again. Do you have another great card you're trying to get to there? No. I mean, I, I know what it is. I, I, I saw what it was because I peeked, which I shouldn't have. But... Um, and this should have been flipped over. I don't know what I'm doing. It got hit. I'm moving this. Okay. Yeah, I've go. got I've got a card that lets me buy an additional one. So. There you go. And, and that ain't it. That's a one so, pointer. So I just want to see the exiles. If there was a two pointer in here. Nope, just a one pointer. They are all one points. Okay. Well, they don't. I haven't seen many that are worth much, but there must be some. I mean, there's a two. huge deck of them. Um, oh, I can do one blind off the top of the artifact deck. Should I? Yeah, let's just do it. It's it's a it's discount of three. If it's a three, I'm lucky. If it's not, I'm in trouble. So you have to buy it. If I it... think so. Hey, it's two, and I get a fear and a gem. I'll take that though. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, so I have a fear. I have a way to get rid of that. As a matter of fact, right now. Oh wait, this goes on the bottom of my deck, yeah. so I don't have. I will have a minus one. Too bad. Okay. And um, I will pay one gem to get a two yeah. temple tab tile, which is okay. And that goes somewhere around here. And I have two gold left. What can I do? I could buy that. It's one point. And it would give me two tablets, which might be something. Need another need another gold. Yes, I do, which I don't think I have. You could maybe get that one. Oh wait, I do. I have it. What am I talking? Oh no, because I have two cards here. Um, it's two points. It's a point. So let's just spend these two. Take that. Okay. Put that there. Well, it get goes two. in the bottom of your deck. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't get it. You don't get nope. anything. It just goes at the bottom of the deck. That's okay. It's a point. It's a point. And then we put a new one out. That one would let you discard. Oh, that's that one nice. that's what you want right there. That's what yeah. you want earlier in the game, the grappling hook. That was play a card without any without doing anything with it and then get a, another card, draw a card and a, exile a card. I think that I am done. I've done everything I can do. I have no more gold. Are you sure? Yes. Can you get do you want to exile a card at the fear? I I can't. I'm going to lose that point. That's okay. So, Let's uh, score it all up. All right. We don't actually have the sheet, so since this is a pre-production copy. Yeah. But first thing we do is the research track, research right? Research track. So I have 
23 plus 2, so 25. Okay. And you have 9 plus 4, so uh, 13. All right. That's the research track. Yep. Then we do, um, if we got any tiles. Oh, really? Okay, well, I yeah. have two for that. Temple tiles. Just one. Okay, I got nothing. Two points for two. that. Two. Okay, then the idols. I get nine 13 points. You get 16 points. Because this, okay. Yep. Three plus four plus three. Okay. okay. Then we do the guardians that we have. Okay. So I have 10. Okay, and I have uh, four for 20. Then okay. we do our cards. Okay. Well, that's the whole pile. Right and you subtract for the, the fear as well. Yeah, of course. So. Well, right off the bat, that carrier pigeon I got just got dumped again. So that doesn't count for anything. Those don't count for a hill of beans. So that you could exile the funding cards too and things like that. All right. So that's 1.1 1 .1 points. So I'm going to negate it that way. Fear. Okay, nine points for me. Okay, LinkedIn's got nine, and I got seven. Well, cool. Well, it's cards, and then our totals. All right, so Lincoln, you got 69. Wow, okay. You are the winner, and yeah. I got 46. Oh, okay, well, wow. boo. What do you think of this one, Nick? <laughs> it's a struggle, actually. Um, the balancing act is crazy. Yeah, we had, so we had played this once before. Yes, we did. And to really grasp it, and this track was way more dynamic. Way. The, my turn was sort of like the one I had. Yeah. Because uh, I went, I, although I had advanced further this time, we both knew to like move, keep mm -hmm. moving along on that, but you stalled um, not did. getting the good you needed. I did. And I did a lot more in the other game of the trading out and everything that you just saw Lincoln do in this right. game. Um, we both did more of that. Uh, but this time, we did more exploring, um, and I think for me, that's why I wasn't able to really get high on that track, because I was spending to do more dig sites, which was exciting sort to of. see more of these cards. I, I think you just probably didn't additionally have the cards, because these will get you those things. Mm -hmm. you, you need to go to those sites. I think your final, your round previous to this, where you had, I think you had to do some of these down here, yeah. was not as beneficial. Um, so you didn't get quite as much. You want to go for these, although, you know, it, it's a different mix of these cards, too, that come up, right? Um, I don't remember if we did any more of these previously. Only I reached out, I think, before. Maybe you did, yeah. too. Um, I think we had two of them in the last game that okay. we got up there, but this was like there was maybe one well, the, or two. The crazy thing is I, th it. I think we were short on compasses this game. Yeah. Although I did buy quite a few of the... Uh, uh, Artifacts. I bought four artifacts. I mean, you know, that one discount thing is pretty great. I, I would have loved to have had that a lot earlier in the game. Um, but uh, it's pretty awesome. This one would have been great here to research with a discount of, uh, of a gem. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did that earlier when I had that opportunity, but I just used it as, I think, movement when I, I used it in the game. Um, at least I hope so. I can't wait until we can play this with more people. Yeah. I really want to see how, how all of this ends up with even just three people playing it. But I enjoy um, that you have to think about if you want to even reveal this um, and then the, the guardian? guardian will come out because when you do it as your second placement of an explorer, you might get stuck getting a fear because you don't have that second turn to get rid of. Right. Well, that one that I got, I, that last fear I got was uh, was because I um, took one of those cards. But I generally was able to cope with uh, overcoming the Guardians most of the time. Um, I think that the game is really awesome. I really love that there are only two Explorers. There's only so much you can do on your turn with mm -hmm. that. These other cards... I had that card that let me go to a, uh, you know, to use a space, activate, activate any site, mm -hmm. whether it was, uh, you know, in this zone, without having an explorer there. That would that would give you more when you have when you only have those two explorers. Uh, it's tough, and it's definitely a balancing act. You you want to try to load. I mean, this here is also important. You know, not overdoing it on these. So I'm losing three points, but I'm gaining, right? I use that to come mm -hmm. up this track here. That's where I think you're going to do that stuff. Right. 
Yeah, I had the um, tiger claw, with, but it let me go down here. Yeah. And then I had the hot air balloon. Well, that only let so, you do that once, right? So you yeah. would need to spend a tablet. That, Later yes. on, it's not quite yes. worth it. And this one gets, you do it once and it's it's exiled, it's out. Right, okay, yeah, there was another one that let you do, there was, when I was making that choice, there were like three cards there that let you do, one was the base camp, one was here, and then one, I think, let you do up here, but you would mm -hmm. spend, it might have been that card. No, I don't think it was the hot air mm -hmm. balloon. Uh, it was gonna be one of these. Uh, no, it was, this one was choose two different options, which is okay. banish a card, uh, or exile a card, and or, and then one of the other three things, a, com a gold compass or a t tablet. Okay. Um, this one was activate any, occup any occupied yeah. base site. That was yeah. great though too, that coming up. Um, this one was kind of hmm. a drag, right? It was only one, but you got three compass. This one was the one I was sad to see go though, was the revolver because it's just, you just use one compass and you uh, overcome the um, guardians. Right. It's pretty challenging. You know, I didn't exile this one. Oh, that's right. Which so you're, you're actually one more point behind. Gave oh, myself boo. an extra point, so yeah. I'm really 45. Uh, okay. Well, not bad. Uh, so there's you're definitely... the catch for a really good card like that. Yeah. You don't. Well, that was what I, I did. This, I did the same thing on the one that I dumped here. The um, the uh, the three compasses, right? It was a, it was a single point for three compasses. You know, one gold and a single point. Uh, it's not. That's not cheap. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I think compasses are really valuable in this game. Clearly, we didn't have as much flexibility. It would have been nice to get up here. And this one here, if we could just get your journals up high. Yeah. There's good things to be had. It's just way harder for whatever reason because you need to focus on this being up ahead, um, and it's clearly more lucrative if you can do it. Uh, this ended up being 25 points with mm -hmm. this additional tile here. I do really love it, and the art for this game is really gorgeous. It's really not super challenging. It's just a little bit of upkeep worry yeah. that you have to make sure you're taken care of. I, I think that they did a really wonderful job with this game. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, I think we have the tiles over there. There yes. is a solo version of this game. There is. Where it's essentially like what we've just played, but you're playing the AI, and the AI has... I don't know exactly what these do, but you put you flip those other cards. That um, these you would be flipping them, and this is, would be what the player is, the AI player is doing. Mm -hmm. And then if there's some decisions to be made, these are left and right oh, pointing. Okay. So it would be the, I guess it'd be the top of the draw pile that lets you know what which way you're choosing. Um, plus, this is the the AI player is always the start player, so you have to be. Now they're not going to be making is probably a tactical move. Uh, as they, w I'm sure they won't be making his tactical move, but I bet you it's pretty challenging. It's probably a tough puzzle. And then on the other side of the board, oh we boy, have this is a lot to move. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. But there's another version of the game that you can play. Yeah. Where it is, um, where it's oh, those are the fear. Uh, it's more a little bit tougher. There's different values to move up the track. You, you're also going in. <laughs> because an expedition failed. Boy, that is a lot of stuff we're pulling it off. It is a lot just to move. Um, an expedition failed and it didn't make it. You're going to be recovering assistance and other stuff. I haven't really okay, looked at it very so carefully. Oh, you don't have to pull this other yeah, stuff off. Yeah, it's too bored, so yep. we're okay. I think that, oh, one tile there. Okay. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this is stormier version here. Yeah, this is bad. But yeah, the costs are different here. This is. Instead of getting another assistant that's further down the line, uh, you can banish, or you exile a card, you get two gold. So it's not quite the same, right? There's no exploration tiles here. Maybe because thematically it's another, um, it's, a, uh, it's already been explored. There's mm -hmm. an ex expedition that's gone through here already and failed. Yeah. Notice you need airplanes here. Oh my. Specifically, you need two boots. Eef. So things are a little bit more challenging. Czech games make mm. some complicated games, and yeah, they also they make some easier games. This one is really middle for me. It's not very yeah. hard. It's just it's a, it's accounting, right? Some yes. some people have a little bit of trouble with that. I and it's it slows the game down for sure, um, and, and that's okay because it's really quite easy. You're only doing one thing on your turn. Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious. Now, if you have a bunch of cards in your hand, you're never going to have more than five or a few more if you have yeah. some bon uh, ways to gain an additional card. But usually, to do some of that, like this one for me, I had to get rid of a card. I had to 
play a card without using its effect to be able to gain another card. My deck being as thin as it was was probably pretty good because look, I mean, I had a lot of good things in my hand. The, actually, the only bad things, which aren't bad, are the compasses and the, um, the funding and the exploration cards. Uh, but I really think they did a great job with this. And it is really gorgeous. I mean, ooh, look at them. Uh, I the, know, the snake. The snake, that's, I didn't even get to look at the other guy. It was a dragon or something like no, that. No, no, right? it's a bird. Oh, a bird. Kind of a bird. Maybe a quaddle or something. It's um, not. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it it's looks like a it per, doesn't, bird of prey I don't bird. think I think it's a temple, right? That's what it is. Yeah. It's, a te it's a temple that is that sculpture, mm -hmm. of, I mean, a, of that bird. So the other one must be a snake, I guess. A, a yeah, location. like it's a temple actual, snake. Although that looks like it's actually a snake. Maybe really Climbing it's, a temple. I don't know. The other one looks like the bird is part of the temple, but right. what do I know? Um, but yeah, it's really fantastic. I want to play this again. Absolutely. I Absolutely. Mean, I want to... I do want to play with more players. I, I, I guess that maybe we can be played online. I don't know. I've not. We've not played any very, very little. Very little online, online stuff. It's not really my forte. Um, ah, we like the interaction and. Well, the additionally, I'm also in front of a computer all the time. So yes. the last thing I kind of want to do is get in front of a computer. Uh, yes. Um, but yeah, it really is really well done. Thanks for teaching, Lincoln. Absolutely. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. Bye.